Hi, welcome back. I'm Kristen and I'm gonna be guiding you through practice today. We're focusing on Sun Salutation A and Sun Salutation B, which are both a great way to warm up your body, preparing you for more advanced asana later on in practice. It's also a great time for you to set your intention and solidify it both in your mind and your body. So with that being said, let's flow. So let's start today in a comfortable, easy seat. You can either do cross-legged or bending your knees and sitting your butt on your heels. Either one is cool by me. Today, I'm gonna choose to start cross-legged in Sukhasana, easy seat. So from here, we'll allow our eyes to fall gently shut. Take our hands and place them face down on the knees. In the yoga practice, we see the, the placement of the palms as significant. So with the palms face down here, it's the intention behind it is to ground down into the present moment. And then we'll connect with our breath here. So let's start by emptying out all of the air inside of our bodies. Take a big breath in through your nose, filling up your belly, filling up your heart, filling up your head. And a big sigh out. Good. And one more like that. So big breath in through your nose, filling yourself up from the bottom all the way to the top. And a big breath out. Nicely done. Let's start to engage the Ujjayi Pranayama or the breath practice that's going to guide us through the asana today. So same sort of idea on your inhale, you'll breathe in through your nose, filling yourself up belly first. This time on the exhale, seal your lips and breathe out through your nose. Good, try that again, this time adding a slight restriction in the back of your throat so it feels like you're dragging the air across the back of your throat. And a big breath out. Nice, keep that ujjayi going. Start to gently blink your eyes open and on your inhale, circle the arms out and up, coming into a high prayer with your hands above your head. You might take your gaze up to meet your hands as well. We'll take a moment here to settle in and on, on an intention for practice. So what is it that you're trying to cultivate? Any particular qualities, a way of being? Perhaps your intention for practice is just to simply keep the mind focused on the breath without wandering to the stuff that you have to do today or the conversations that caused you some sort of anxiety. Maybe it's holding a posture one beat longer than you did the last time you stepped onto your mat. Maybe your intention here is just coming to the practice with non-judgment. Once you've settled in on your intention, take one more big breath in through your nose. And then on your exhale, guide your prayer hands down to the center of your chest. Very good. We're going to take cat and cow seated today. So let's interlace our fingers webbing to webbing grip. And then flip your palms so that the palms are facing out. On the inhale, lift that whole shape of your hands up towards the sky, opening the chin away from the chest and finding a little bit of a back bend here. So heart is pressing up towards the sky. And then on your exhale, we'll flip the palms so that they face us and around, moving your hands right in front of your sternum. Good. Let's try that two more times. So on your inhale, lifting the palms up, pressing your palms up towards the sky as you take a back bend. And exhale, rounding, drawing the navel in and turning your palms to face you. And one more time like that on your inhale, lifting up, finding that back bend, maybe taking your gaze up to the sky as well. And exhale, rounding into your seated uh, angry cat. Good. This time, release the hands back down to the ground on either side of your hips and place both of the soles of your feet onto the mat just about hips distance apart. Good. We'll start to windshield wiper our knees from right to left, right to left. Yeah, they can be fast, they can be slow. Think about this as just... Uh, gathering some information. How are my hips doing today? Are they kind of creaky and stiff or are they really open and ready to move? But the next time the knees drop over to the right hand side, I'd like you to keep the knees there and start to twist your body over towards the right. So some of us will have to stay a little bit more upright here. If you feel like you're looking for a deeper stretch, start to slowly crawl down onto your forearms, eventually letting your whole head just rest onto the ground. 
Go ahead, take one more big breath in. And a big breath out. If you're down on the ground, start to press yourself back up to your straight arms. Come back to center, hands on either side of your hips, and windshield wiper your knees one more time, right side, left side. Good, the next time the knees fall over to the left this time, keep them there, and we'll take a gentle twist over towards our left. So again, you might notice that this side of you needs to stay up on the straight arms. Maybe this side of you has slightly more availability and you can climb down onto your forearms. If your glutes and hips feel ready for this, totally cool to rest your head down onto the ground, receiving a pretty deep stretch for glute and IT band. Take one more big breath in. And big breath out. Good, on your inhale, gently press yourself back up to your straight arms. Take your hands on either side of your hips and we'll do this a little bit more breath to movement. So on your exhale, I'd like you to drop your knees over to the right and circle sweep your left arm all the way up towards the sky. Good, getting a nice side body stretch. Nice, and then on your exhale, left hand comes back down to the ground, knees drop over to the left. Inhale, right arm will reach up, getting that big side body stretch. And exhale, right hand moves back down to the ground, left arm reaches up, sweeping as the knees fall over to the right. Good, and exhale, circle the left hand down, knees to the left, right arm reaches up and over. Good, one more time each side, right hand down, knees to the right, left arm is reaching through the fingertips. And exhale, left hand back down, knees to the left, inhale, right arm reaches up, getting that side body stretch. Good, and exhale, right hand comes back down. From here, just take your legs and swing them all the way around to the back of your mat. We'll meet in a tabletop, hands and knees. So hands will be underneath your shoulders, knees will be underneath your hips. Good, from here, tuck your toes and lift your hips all the way up to downward facing dog. Take a moment here to pedal push your heels, shake your head, wag your tail. Yeah, any movement that feels nice to you, maybe starting to get out some snap crackles and pops that are happening in your feet. Good, and then start to find your way into stillness in the down dog. From here, we'll move through a few rounds of sun salutation. So in the yoga practice, the sun salutations are thought of as a prayer or an offering. So I'd like you to draw your mind back to your intention, the one that you set at the beginning of practice. What are you offering up today? Slowly start to walk to the top of your mat. We'll come into a forward fold. On your inhale, bring your fingertips to your shin bones, flat back, halfway lift, roll the shoulder heads back, draw the navel in. And exhale, bow back down. Inhale, circle sweep the arms out and up towards the sky, finding high prayer Urdhva Hastasin above your head. And then exhale, dive all the way back down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, bring your fingertips back to your shin bones, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, take both of your hands down to the ground, step back with your right foot and then your left foot coming into high plank. Shift the weight forward into your fingerprints and toe tips. Bend your elbows and lower your belly all the way down to the ground. Once you get there, untuck your toes, slide your legs together, and then float your hands and your heart off of your mat, coming into no hands baby cobra. Narrow your elbows back towards one another as you float the chest up just one more inch higher. And exhale, lower your chest and hands back down to the ground. Retuck your toes, pull your navel in, press up to straight arm plank, inhale. And exhale, drag your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Good, take a big breath in through your nose. And a big breath out. On your next inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Look forward, you can take two steps or one hop to the top of your mat, coming into forward folds. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift, roll the shoulders back, draw the navel in. Exhale, bowing back down, forward fold. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms out and up, high prayer, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, dive all the way back down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands down, this time step back with your left foot and then your right foot into your high plank pose. Shift the weight forward into fingertips and toe tips on your inhale. And then exhale, bend your elbows. This time we'll lower down halfway for chaturanga. Narrow the elbows in towards your ribs. Good, point your toes behind you, one, two. Press up into your straight arms, upward facing dog. 
In up dog, your thighs and your knees are off of the mat. Roll the shoulders back to lift the chest. Exhale, drag your hips up and back, coming into your downward facing dog. And this time we'll pause for two full cycles of breath. Inhaling through your nose, filling up belly, and then heart and then head. Exhale, melting the heels closer towards the yoga mat. One more time like that. Big breath in. And big breath out. One more time through Surya Namaskar A or Sun Salutation A. You'll lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, hop or step, step forward, full top of your mat. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, bowing back down, forward fold. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms out and up towards the sky, high prayer above your head. Exhale, bowing back down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands down. You can either step, step, or jump back to bent elbows, making sure that you land in Chaturanga. It's the bottom of your push-up. On your inhale, either finding a cobra or an upward-facing dog. And exhale, dragging the hips up and back, coming into your downward facing dog. So a little bit different this time, moving on to Surya Namaskar B or Sun Salutation B. On your inhale, you'll lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, hop or step, step, forward, full top of your mat. This time, heel toe your feet together so that they touch. Inhale to Ukatasana chair pose. So arms will sweep up as hips move low. Think about shifting the weight back into your heels. Yeah, so weight goes so far back that you can see all 10 toes beyond your knees. Hugging the inner thighs together. Also image hugging your outer hips closer towards one another to start to turn on the glutes. Navel will draw back as bottom two ribs come closer together. Thinking about a strong core engagement here, but then find some brightness across your heart. So can you lift your thumbs up, spread wide in the collarbones, take one more big breath in. And exhale, forward folds. Good. On your inhale, flat back, halfway lift. This is how you prepare. On your exhale, hands down, step, step, jump, or skip your vinyasa. We'll all meet in our downward facing dog eventually. Once you find your way into downward facing dog, on your inhale, float right leg up to the sky. This is down dog split. On your exhale, draw your knee to your nose and then lightly step your right foot behind your right thumb. Good. Sharp, strong pivot of your left heel down to the mat at a 45 degree angle. So left toes face more forward than they do sideways. On your inhale, sweep both of the arms up to the sky, coming into your warrior one. Inner thighs will squeeze as you square off the hips, guide the right hip back, press your left hip forward. Good. Take one more big in here. Exhale, two hands down to the ground. Step back to high plank pose and either move through a vinyasa or go right back to your downward facing dog. From down dog on the inhale, send left leg high to the sky. You're in down dog split. On your exhale, draw your left knee to your nose and then step your left foot behind your left thumb. There's a strong pivot of the right heel down to the ground. So right toes will face the front right corner of your mat and then root down into the feet to reach both of the arms up to the sky, coming into warrior one. Again, think square hips. So this time left hip pulls back as you encourage the right hip forward. Inner thighs squeeze against one another and then find the core, navel in, broadness across your collarbones. Take one more in. Exhale, two hands down to the ground. Step back, high plank pose. Again, optional vinyasa here. If you're taking vinyasa, heart will go up on the in. And exhale, hips will go back, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward. Hopper step, step forward, fold, top of your mat. One more time, heel to the feet together so that they touch. Inhale to your chair pose, arms go up, hips go low. Nice, and then pause here on your exhale. So think about turning on the backside of your body. Hamstrings, glutes are obviously working, but if you lift your thumbs up just a little bit higher, trying to encourage that broadness, that brightness across your heart, you'll also start to turn on the muscles in your back, like upper back, working into that entire back body line. Drive down through your heels on your inhale, stand all the way up to high prayer, Urdhva Hastasana. On your exhale, dive down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale to prepare, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, you can step, step, jump, or again, skip your vinyasa. 
Vinyasas are always optional. No point in blowing out your shoulders just to get in a few more push-ups. When you arrive in Downward Facing Dog, we'll stay for three full cycles of breath. Big breath in through your nose, filling up belly, heart, and head. And big breath out. Two more like that. Big breath in through the nose. And big breath out. One more big breath in. And a big breath out. Awesome job, guys. I hope you're leaving your mat feeling energized, warmed up, and ready to go. Remember, if you like this video, hit subscribe and come back for more. I'll see you next time.